week in 1893, commercial production of the Addressograph, created by Joseph Duncan, started in Chicago, Illinois. The Addressograph was an early labeling system. In 1914 this week, the first transcontinental telephone service was inaugurated when two people held a conversation between New York and San Francisco. This week in 1925, station 2XAG in Schenectady, New York became the first radio station in the U.S. to broadcast with a 50,000 watt transmitter. The station, soon known as WGY Radio, could broadcast with 50,000 watts since it was owned by the General Electric Company, a company that knew a thing or two about watts. In 1962, the Telstar Communications Satellite sent the first live TV broadcast to Europe. I understand that part of today's press conference is being relayed by the Telstar Communications Satellite to viewers across the Atlantic, and uh, this is another indication of the extraordinary world in which we live. The bird was used to send TV programs between the United States and Europe. And this week in 1998, Bell Atlantic Corp and GTE announced a $52.88 billion stock swap deal to create the second biggest telephone company behind AT&T. The resulting mega corporation would be named Verizon Communications. That's our look back at This Week in Tech History, brought to you by IFA in Berlin. IFA, the Global Innovations Show. 6,000 media representatives, 2,600 from abroad. It's IFA time. Meet the official partner of the future in Berlin. Be sure to check out our website anytime at intotomorrow.com and subscribe to our free podcasts while you're there. We'll catch you next time on This Week in Tech History.